guys so we're heating up a pan right now then we're going to cook our mushrooms with our brown meat first brown the meat because the mushrooms only take a few minutes okay guys after you brown all the meat then dump all your mushrooms on top probably about eight minutes until they shrivel up you kind of eyeball this one okay mushrooms and the garlic and the meat is all just blending nicely mushrooms are softened we're going to be putting together our casserole in a few minutes and then we're gonna be popping it in the oven. So take half your mixture and throw it in your, I'm doing a nine by 13 because I doubled the recipe. You'll probably have a four by four according to the recipe, but we're just lining the bottom with some mixture. It should take about half, and then we'll leave the other half to put on top after we've cheesed it up. Let's take your Swiss cheese. I've got slices cut up and just lay it all over. And it should just, basically right now it should just melt but we're gonna bake it anyways in a few minutes. You don't have to be so uniform. It's just, they're just stuck together. <laughs> you, they're you fighting just, against me. There's a lot of cheese. So like those slices are gonna go on the ends. So there's gonna be tons of cheese in this. There you go. Okay, now as you can see, we're taking our goat cheese and we're throwing that on there too in the mix. This is going to be a cheesy mess. Be ready for it. Okay guys, we're gonna add the second layer now we have all our cheese on. Whatever hasn't melted already, will melt in the oven in a few minutes. So we're gonna do the sliced Swiss cheese on top first to cover the whole top. And then we're gonna sprinkle the top with our garnish, the scallions, and it's gonna look beautiful. Now, when you're done putting it all together, you're gonna throw it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes or until all the cheese is melted and bubbly. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Smells great. So we're just gonna take a little bit out, put it on a plate. Look how cheesy that is. Okay, lay this off to the side for dinner so that everybody can have it. Okay guys, you ready? Let's give this a try. A lot of cheese. Not sure the goat cheese is gonna work for me. Feel free to swap out whatever cheese you want. Come on, there we go. Jeez, it's all stuck together, come on. Here we go. I didn't think this was going to be good. This is better than I thought. Probably because I haven't had real food in like 67 days. I'd make this again, but I think I'd use Mexi or cheddar cheese in the mix. 